Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. About a week ago, we had an um, interview with my grandson, Micah. And remember, I said, do you believe in God? And he said, yes, I do. And then I said, why do you believe in God? He said, so I don't go to hell. <laughs> you remember that? There was a book many years ago, and in that book, it said these words, that hell is a very real place and real people go there. Boy, that's a tough message, but a lot of people don't want to hear that. A survey recently indicated that 80% of Americans believe that heaven is a real place, and only like 37% of Americans believe that hell is a real place. Well, does Jesus talk about that? Well, let's listen to verse 15 of Matthew chapter 10. Jesus says this, Truly I say to you, it will be more bearable on that day of judgment for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah than for that town. Jesus is talking about sending the 12 disciples out, going to towns and villages, sharing the gospel. And if people are not receptive and won't receive it, he's saying that it's going to be worse for them on that day of judgment when Jesus comes back than it was for the people of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now, what happened to the people in Sodom and Gomorrah? They were consumed by fire. What is hell like? It's consummation by fire. There's a parable in Luke chapter 16 about the rich man and Lazarus. Lazarus goes to heaven. He's in heaven, and the rich man can see what it's like in heaven. And the Bible says that he's in agony in those flames. The Bible says this, Jesus said, he that believeth that is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. And so hell is a real place and real people go there. And what causes them to end up in hell? Rejection of Christ, unbelief, not believing in Jesus as Savior. So when Christ went to the cross, my friends, he experienced the wrath of God and the definition of hell, which is total separation from God. When people are in hell, they are totally separated from the love and presence, guidance and direction, and constant grace of God in hell. They don't have that. They're totally separated from the Father. And so Jesus, when he went to the cross, experienced hell in our place. And when we, listen to this, repent of our sin and put our trust in Jesus, what my grandson said is so true. We're saved from hell. We're not going to hell. We're going to heaven because Jesus Christ paid the full price for our sin on the cross of Calvary. And when he cried out, it is finished, that meant hell was vanquished, Satan was defeated, sin was carried, and death was conquered. We have victory over hell and death through Jesus Christ. Now, what's this mean for us? It means we need to get the gospel out. And we need to understand that when people don't believe Jesus, don't believe in Jesus, don't receive the grace of God, they are destined and headed to hell. And we want to change people's address. Their permanent address at that time is hell, right? That's where they're ending up. That's where they're going to go. But what changes that address? What changes their address from hell to heaven, from being lost to being found, from being separated from God to being saved? The gospel. And so we share the gospel whenever and with whomever we can. As, as we talked about yesterday, if people are not receptive to it, okay, we shake the dust off our feet and we go to people who are. But we pray for those who are not receptive that somehow God would soften their heart and they would be receptive to the gospel message. Why? Because hell is a real place and real people go there. That's a solemn truth. But that's the truth of the word of God. It's not conjecture. It's not opinions. It's not ideas. This is the truth of God's word. And we stand on the integrity and truth of God's word, both now and forevermore. And that is today's daily truth. Have a great day in Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.